In this video, we're going to do a couple examples from Delta Math, uh, distinguished arithmetic versus geometric sequences. So we're going to look at the sequence they give you and determine if it's geometric or arithmetic. So we got to look, does it have a common difference or a common ratio? Well, 20 minus 4 is 16, and 100 minus 20 is 80. So we quickly see that this is not a common difference. So now does it have a common ratio? 100 divided by 20, that's 5. Oh, 20 divided by 4 is 5. So we can see that this is a geometric sequence, and it has a common ratio. And the common ratio is 5 because we get 100 over 20 reduces to 5 over 1, or 20 divided by 4 reduces to 5 over 1. And then that is what we multiply by to get the, generate the next term. So the next term in this sequence would be 500. 100 times 5 is 500. Submit the answer, see if we get the check mark, and we do, and it shows us the whole process. Here's our next problem, 3, 12, 21. So 12 minus 3 is 9. 21 minus 12 is 9. So this one has a common difference. So we say it's arithmetic sequence. Common difference is equal to 9. Look at our next sequence, 125, 25, 5. So this sequence is decreasing. So let's look, does it have a common difference? Well, 25 minus 125 is negative 100, and then 5 minus 25 is negative 20. So it does not have a common difference. Now, does it have a common ratio? Well, 25 divided by 125 reduces to 1 over 5. 5 divided by 25 reduces to 1 over 5. So this is a geometric sequence has a common ratio, which is 1 over 5. Now, be careful. Sometimes students think of this as divide by 5. But remember, the common ratio is what are we multiplying by each term to get the next term. So in other words, our next term would be um, 5 times 1 fifth gets us to 1. And I know a lot of you think it's 5 divided by 5, which gets you to 1 as well. But again, when we talk about the common ratio, it's what is that multiplier? So one-fifth is our answer, and we enter it. There we go. Look at one more sequence, 2, 11, 20. All right, so does it have a common difference? Let's see, 20 minus 11 is 9. 11 minus 2 is 9. Oh, so they're just adding 9 each time. So this is an arithmetic sequence. It has a common difference, and that difference value is, oops, 9. 